Welcome back to Old Future Guys. Wanted to share an article with you guys that scientists have discovered that Parkinson's disease may actually begin in the gut and travel up what's called the vagus nerve to the brain to affect it. So how they did this was they looked at records of people and autopsies of people at Parkinson's and they found a much, much lower occurrence of Parkinson's in people who had a, a vagotomy, which is the removal of part of the vagus nerve, which for reasons I won't get into, I wouldn't recommend doing. It's a procedure they don't really do anymore, but the vagus nerve is part of your parasympathetic rest and digest nervous system, the opposite of the flight or flight, extremely important for your health, regulates your heartbeat, regulates your gut, um, is part of the innervation to your voice box. It's a very important nerve. I really don't recommend getting any parts of your anatomy cut out unless it's dire, life-saving circumstances. So, diet does affect brain health. Now, there are other risk factors for Parkinson's, like getting punched in the head a lot, like Muhammad Ali, will lead to Parkinson's. Also, exposure to toxins, specifically ones that are in uh, PCBs that are in dairy products, like cheese, also show a high correlation. So, what you eat is important. So... That's why I advocate a whole foods, plant-based diet on this channel with the vast majority of it coming from fruits and vegetables, the whole grains, legumes, nuts and seeds will get you the results too. The exact data on what to eat to not get Parkinson's is unclear, but avoiding dairy is a definite must. You can also avoid heart disease, diabetes, many common cancers by adopting a whole food, plant-based diet, which I talk about a lot on this channel. If you want more info on that, subscribe to my videos. But just to give you guys a little bit of an anatomy lesson, here is the vagus nerve starting in the brain. It comes down, it goes to the voice box, it goes to the heart, and it goes to the gut as well and helps with something called motility, which is you know basically moving food through the digestive tract. So it's a very important nerve. We also know from science that microbes in your gut can actually send neurotransmitters retrograde up the vagus nerve to the brain doing things like making you crave junk food. That's why when these microbes don't get what they want, they send the signal up to the brain, I want more candy, I want more pizza. And that's why if you're able to fight the cravings for however long it takes, usually about three weeks, those microbes die off you don't have the cravings anymore, and your microbes are basically craving whatever you've been eating lately. So that's another thing that happens with the vagus nerve. So we know things do travel retrograde up the vagus nerve that probably shouldn't, like junk food cravings. So the exact mechanism is unknown as far as like what's going up the vagus nerve. We do, do know that PCBs, which is an is a pesticide. Specifically, Parkinson's was linked to an old Monsanto pesticide that was banned in 1979. It's no longer in use, but dairy products and pesticides are two big contributors, like I said before, getting uh, head trauma. But <laughs> my main takeaway to you guys is that vegan diet is much more about much more than just preventing heart disease, diabetes, saving the planet. We can also prevent things like Parkinson's. Don't want to say it's panacea, but oh my god, the brain health is related to the gut health because guess what? The second biggest concentration of nerve tissue outside of the brain is in the gut. So that's my message for you today, guys. I'll put links down below uh, the article about the uh, gut-brain connection for Parkinson's and also the nutritionfacts.org's review of nutrition literature on how a whole foods plant-based diet may help prevent or even possibly reverse Parkinson's disease. So hope you enjoyed that video and I will catch you guys next time. Hey guys, subscribe to Whole Future on YouTube and check out Whole Future on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat as well. Blah, <sighs>